Hello friends and welcome back. Today I am going to tell you about the cross section and the surface modifier. So without any further ado, let's get started. So we have got into the software and today I will show you how we can create this object using the cross section and the surface modifier. So before we start creating this object, I will show you how the cross section and the surface modifier works. So let's begin. The cross section modifier actually connects the spline. So let's begin by creating some spline. So here I'm creating a spline and let's create some copies of the spline and then we will attach them. So here I'm creating few copies of this. Now select one of the splines, attach these splines. Once the splines are attached, we will go to the modifier menu, then patch spline editing and we have the cross section. Click on the cross section and you'll, you can see the splines are now connected. So that is how the cross section modifier actually works. Let's delete this and I'll show you how to create this object. Now to create this object, we need to create some outlines. So we need to create outline for the base and we need to create some outline for the top. So first of all, we will create a rectangle for the base, something like this. And let's create a copy of this and scale. And at the corners, we want a little roundness. So we can increase the corner radius. So we have created two shapes that is for the base. Now we have to create a copy. Elevate the copy a little bit. So here we have created the shapes required for the outer surface. Now we need to create outline for the inner surface. So for that, I'll create a copy of this. Simply copy and scale. And then we have to create a copy of this and shift slightly above the previous rectangle. So let's work in this front view port. And we have to copy the small rectangle and create a copy and align it with the other rectangle. So here what we have is we have created six uh, splines, six rectangles basically. Now we have to convert them into a spline. So right click convert to spline and now we have to connect these splines. So we have to start on the small rectangle here. Let me change the color of the spline to white so that it's more visible and hide the grid for better visibility. First we have to select the rectangle then we have will select this, this spline then this one, then we have to move into the smaller one and like this we have to, like this we have to attach all the splines. So here we have attached all the splines. Now go to the modifiers, patch spline editing and apply cross section. So once we apply the cross section, you can see everything is connected. All the splines are properly connected. Now. To add a surface, we will have to add the surface modifier. So select the object, go to modifiers, patch spline editing and inside this you will get the surface modifier. So click on the surface modifier and the object looks dark. Uh, but in the parameters we have got an option that is the flip normals. So just put on this option and you can see the object is now perfect. So that is how we use the you know cross section modifier for creating objects. 
Now in case you want to make, make some kind of modification, you can easily do so by going to the sub object level. Say in the, uh, in the stack, you can select the spline. Suppose we selected these two splines and if I scale them, things will get updated accordingly. And if you want only the rim of this uh, object, you don't want the base, in that case we can even delete the splines. These two small rectangles which we created in the beginning, that can be deleted. And again we'll have to put off the flip normal and this is what we get. So that is how the cross section and the surface modifier works in 3D Studio Max. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, kindly hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.